Until you can see everybody represented on a gallery wall, it's like you can ignore them. You, can, you, can, you feel like they don't exist. But as soon as someone is depicted in culture, whether that be on the gallery wall or film or whatever, then you know you can't deny their existence. Hello, I am Russell Tovey, and this is my Attitude magazine cover shoot. It's out now. I, I guess I'm drawn to queer artists, absolutely. I think as I've got older, more and more, and it feels like there's a huge uh, movement of queer art, historical and contemporary, that's really being revealed. So many artists who were queer, who actually, a lot of them, had their lives cut short before they could really fulfill their potential by AIDS epidemic, they're now being rediscovered, and the work's been protected, and now it's having this moment. That is really really exciting to me and something that obviously I connect to because of my sexuality but I think I'm just drawn to stories and I'm drawn to that all art is is someone telling you a story all art is is someone saying this is my story are you interested some things you're interested in some people's stories connect with you and some people don't so my favorite queer artists I mean uh, David Hockney is obviously the king queen of art, the best. Uh, Howard Hodgkin, Maggie Hambling, Isaac Julian. Then there's this whole movement of artists like Louis Frattino, Daron Langberg, Salman Tor, who are coming from the States. Uh, they're in the States and they're, they're part of this massive kind of snowball of queer art that's really getting out there and making a massive difference. But then there's a lot of you know, non-binary artists, gender non-conforming artists, trans artists that are getting an opportunity to tell their stories and be represented on a really mainstream platform. Because for so long, you know, queer art was seen as, you know, on, on the periphery. And now it's taken front and centre. And that, that's a brilliant time to be, you know, witnessing that. When it comes to representation, overall there, there have been so many divisions of art history that have been overlooked. So it could just be one artist, but I think it's predominantly representation has been overlooked. And until you can see everybody represented on a gallery wall, it's like you can ignore them. You feel like they don't exist, but as soon as someone is depicted in culture, whether that be on the gallery wall or film or whatever, then you know you can't deny their existence. And that for me is something that we really feel I personally feel passionate about, but as the podcast, we feel passionate about, about giving voice and a platform to overlooked, minoritized artists. So the Talk Out podcast is something that I am so proud of uh, because it's come out of a complete passion and being a complete geek for art. I am an art geek through and through, and me and one of my best mates are exactly the same. So we started this podcast in 2018, August 2018, and now we're on like season eight, we've done over like 100 episodes, we've had nearly two and a half million downloads. The thing about art is that it's endless. The opportunities to discover it and the fact that every year there's more artists coming out of art schools and more like outsider artists kind of developing their practice, that this feels like something that will be a constant for us for a long time. And it feels, I feel an absolute privilege to be able to connect to so many people about something that I absolutely love. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this shoot, please can you copy and paste, like, share, switch, flip, dip, put it low, and give it to everyone you know, uh, and spread the word. Thank you very much.